What's up guys, Express here, back with another tutorial. Now this time we have another anime related banner, slash header tutorial. This time it's a one minute tutorial, so it's for everyone. Um, if you want like an in-depth, detailed tutorial or something, let me know down in the comments down below. And I hope you enjoy this quick, fast tutorial of this uh, anime header. So what you want to do is create, of course, your project. If I'm going too fast, uh, you can always pause the video and go back to parts that you don't understand but this tutorial is very easy all the shortcuts also will be in down in the left corner make a new file file new make the size 3000 on a thousand because this is twitter and you know that's the that's the size you can also do 1500 on a 500 so what you want to do then is fill in your uh, background with a simple white color and i do that with all backspace or you can easily do this with a paint bucket tool now what you want to do of course is find yourself a character that you think is nice what i'm going to do is going to put this in the right hit ctrl t and make this just a bit bigger and turn it a bit around like so okay now what you want to do is make a new layer i'm just going to put this in a map so it's not too confusing there you go layer above the background and you want to select the right side of your character and you want to fill that in with the color of the character i'm going to pick a red like so maybe a different red more something like this and just gonna select that again and press all the backspace to quick fill that in. okay and now really what it is what we're gonna do is just some basic so what you want to do is just take a um, typing tool click once and type your name I'm gonna type express for this tutorial of course and I'm gonna choose a uh, Hirosh font also will be a download link in the description you want to put that in the left of the character of course in the middle and you want to change the color to something like like this red then you want to double click the layer put a stroke on there the uh, seven on the outside like something like they have something like this then you want to duplicate your text with a ctrl j double click the bottom one and put the color overlay on something that also the character has and i'm going to choose this dark uh, purple ish color and i'm going to move the text all the way down to the bottom something like so then i'm going to merge these two layers ctrl e then on the top layer going to stroke of course and i'm going to put in outside stroke again with a, with a different color something like this of course press ok and yeah, then you have something like this so then you want to go again to your typing tool and type uh, express again and this time we select the text go to your font and choose a different font i'm choosing bizarre and also be the link in the description you want to make sure the first letter is a capital letter so I'm gonna make it big okay select the text change the color to whatever you want i'm going to pick this gold color and make the size a bit bigger up uh, you can put it right there and move the layer behind the text like so i'm going to make the text a bit bigger with ctrl t like so okay maybe a bit smaller and what you want to do is ctrl j that and move that a bit over here select it again and make the size as big as 800 and then what you want to do is ctrl t and put it something oh, i'm gonna make it a bit smaller and put it right here i'm gonna move the layer up above the white one above the white background double click that opacity and put a stroke on there something like this and what you want to do is first right click rasterize type and then rasterize layer style like so and then you want to put the opacity on a 20. also i'm going to lower the opacity of this express a bit by 80 something like that what i'm also going to do i'm going to click this um render ctrl j that double click the layer move the fill opacity put a stroke on there with the same white golden color of the text put the position in inside and put the size around six and then i'm going to move that layer i'm going to put that below the first and i'm going to move that a bit upwards like so and you will have something like this now what i'm going to do is select the top layer again ctrl j move all the way down press ctrl t and make that a bit bigger like so put that right there i'm going to put that on the luminosity and the layer opacity on the 15 okay like so and then the last thing you want to do is make a new layer above everything make your take your marquee rectangle tool take the same color of your text and then make a little small rectangle at the bottom fill it in the old backspace like so and you will have something like this you want to select all the layers by holding in shift then ctrl j ctrl e ctrl j again 
Jag går filter, blur, caution blur, blur 1.3, take a race tool and erase the text and the face. Then you want to merge those two again, Ctrl J again, and go to filter, noise, add noise, and add a bit of that uh, slight noise. Let's make a new layer, take your brush, take a black color, and erase the bottoms, uh, color in the bottom side a bit. Like so, I'm gonna put your pasty bit down, merge those two together, Con make a new layer, take a white brush and dab the top, like so, merge those two again, and then Ctrl J. You can then also go to Camera Raw Filter. Okay, I just popped up the contrast, and there you go, there you have it. There is your basic um, one minute Twitter header. So you can do a lot more things to this, but this is just the basic simple text, simple background, and I think you can do this with a lot of stuff. I made a speed art of this from the same style, and I thought, why not make a tutorial of this? But it's a bit simpler and a bit easier for people. So there you go. Before this video ends, I'm releasing gradient pack, and this is it. This is the gradient pack. It will be in the link in the description. Um, you have 30 gradients. Uh, of mine that I use personally as well and you can use this in your work as well I think this is a lot of nice gradients I'm thinking of maybe making a, a bigger one for 5k uh, with the graphics pack that I'm going that I'm working on um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed this as gradient pack as well link will be in the description if you want to download that but I hope you enjoyed this quick fast one minute tutorial even though it's not one minute um, I hope you enjoyed it and I see you guys in the next one peace